What's up, Extreme Kids? This is First Lady Kay from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, and this is your midweek story time where we are reading Love Does for Kids by Bob Goff. I'm so thankful that you are with us today for our midweek story time. Thank you so much, Extreme Kids. Those of you who have emailed us at ottawachurchkids at gmail.com. Let us know all the answers to the devotional questions. It is our pleasure to send you prizes in the mail. And for those of you who are just joining us, remember to do your devotional questions and to email us at ottawachurchkids at gmail.com. Remember to put not only the answers to the questions, but your mailing address so that we can send you a special treat in the mail for being with us. Remember, the last time you were with us, we learned about mistakes. And this time we are going to be learning about room rent. I'm so excited to get Extreme Kids to get started. So let's go. I spent a lot of time at my grandma Mary's house when I was growing up. I loved her because she really liked me and because she was always coming up with capers and mischief. Whenever I would visit, she'd have a project or two waiting for me. One day, we'd build a solar oven together by setting a cardboard box lined with tin foil out in the sun and make grilled cheese sandwiches. The next day, we'd make rock candy out of sugar and water and watch it grow on a string. Grandma Mary never learned how to drive a car, so she rode a bicycle everywhere she went. Even as a grown-up, most weeks I'd ride my bike to her house and Grandma Mary would hop on her tricycle and so we could ride to the hardware store together to buy supplies for the next project. I was a really active kid and Grandma Mary delighted in running around after her red-headed, freckle-faced tornado of a grandson. I think it was because she had more than a little tornado in her, too. One of my favorite activities was to gather every single pillow in her house and make a huge pillow pile in the living room. Grandma Mary and I would stand on the couch and jump into the pile together, rolling in the pillows and laughing so hard that tears ran down our cheeks. Grandma Mary loved me so much that she even gave me my very own room in her house. It wasn't fancy. It had only a bed and a desk with an antique sewing machine on it. In one of the desk drawers, Grandma Mary would leave my me nickels and dimes. She called it room rent. It only, It's only right to pay your rent if I'm going to use your room for sewing while you're at school, she said. The funny thing is, I can't remember Grandma Mary ever sewing a thing. Even so, every time I went to her house, I'd race upstairs to check my room rent drawer. I'd always find a handful of change, and then we'd set off on our bicycles and tricycles and head to the store to get a candy bar or the materials for our next project. It's easy to think that loving people the way Jesus did means we have to do really big things for them. The kinds of things the whole world will see or people will write about in newspapers, talk about in the news, or make into a movie. Doing big things to love people is fantastic. But what I learned from Grandma Mary is that big love doesn't need to attract big attention. We need to give love away like we're made of it. And sometimes that comes out in the smallest, simplest acts of kindness. It doesn't make much sense for Grandma Mary to pay me room, room, sorry, rent for a room that was already hers. Why would you pay rent to a little kid when your own, when you own the whole house? Why would you give so much time to make one person feel so special? Well, even though they may not have looked big to most people, Grandma Mary's simple act of love shaped the person I grew up to be. I knew that I wanted to show the same kindness to my own kids one day and that I wanted to be the type of person who helps other people too. Because Grandma Mary gave me so much love, I learned how to give more love away. Lots of things in Jesus' kingdom seemed to be the opposite of what you'd expect. Jesus said that the people who weren't well known would be leaders. He said that the people who were overlooked would actually be most noticed by him. And in Jesus' kingdom, our small acts of love can help others, people in a big way. 
When we give our love away, we're not paying Jesus back for what he's done for us. It's actually just the opposite. It's like he's left room rent in our dresser drawer, and he can't wait to see how we'll use what he has given to us, given us, sorry, to love others. Wow, extreme kids. I love that story. Isn't that wonderful that we can love people in the little things? Thank you so much, extreme kids, for being with us today. Let us know how you are loving others in little ways every day and email us at ottawachurchkids at gmail.com. We want to hear from you and we will send you a wonderful gift in the mail. God bless you, extreme kids, and remember to keep dreaming extreme.